all of a sudden they come up with almost paid ads and they lead you to what you think is a Hilton or a Starwood or a Marriott when it's fact an independent third party website that may not be acting in your best interest. And oftentimes consumers aren't aware there's a problem until they actually show up for the reservation and find there is no reservation. Or there's a reservation but not with what they had in mind. So we really started to hear about the problem a few years ago, but in recent times, it has absolutely skyrocketed. It's always safest and best to book direct. Be careful about these fraudulent uh, uh, booking sites uh, giving you these fantastic deals for hotels. Uh, make sure they're legitimate before you give anyone your money. I, I stopped using Expedia a couple of years ago because if you run into any troubles along the way, if you have right. to change any, anything, any leg of your trip, it, it happened because we had an illness in the family and I was trying to get my father back quickly from San Francisco. Because we had bought it through a third party, they were not willing to work with us at all. Basically gave us the hand and told us forget about it. So right. I have never bought through a third party again because they wash their hands of you when you right. do it. The problem will be, uh, if they have that much market power, whether or not uh, they will then raise commissions. It will affect, obviously, hotels, not just uh, hotels like Radisson and um, Marriott and Hilton, but small hotels like up in northern right. Minnesota. And it's a great time to be in the hotel business. We're experiencing dynamic growth and opportunity.